Dave Nguyen here with assistant head coach Tony Jones from the men's basketball team. Coach, we're coming off a tough loss against Queens, seventh ranked Queens, but a two point loss. What can we take away as far as learning from a loss like that? Um, we can take away that um, you know the guys really showed they had heart. It was down 15 at one point. Um, we got to get to a better start. Um, they shot 71 percent from the field in uh, the first half. Second half it was about 40, 41, if I'm not mistaken. And um, we just got to learn how to get to start the game better and uh, start the second half better. And um, you know, we get back to our bread and butter on defensive rebounding. Um, I think one thing we can take away is that for the starting five are averaging over double digit points, 10 points or more, led by Jordan Ratliff and Tyrell Kirk, averaging over 15 points a game. Yeah, um, my guard play has been very good. Our bigs have been doing great. Um, I'm not worried about our offense, it's mainly our defense. Um, we got to guard the ball better, we got to protect 15 feet, and we got to rebound better. I think we got out rebounded three out of five games, and um, that results in early morning practices or early morning film sessions, and I'm getting tired of waking up early. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair to say. Um, Wingate comes in 4-0. Uh, they like an inside-out style similar to us. Um, how important is it to crash the glass knowing that they got a couple guys who have some length on the post? Uh, it, it's very important. Um, they got a good size. They got the kid that's um, got eligible this year, Richard, who's got really good size to him. Um, they got Taylor inside, and um, so do we. We got Carson Mounts, about 6'9", 6'10", a kid at 6'7", 6'8". Uh, Spencer about a six eight. Um, the guys, we got to crash the boards. So, um, just like I said, we've been getting out rebounded lately, and um, they're a very physical team. And um, I can't remember the last time we won at Wingate, so um, it's definitely going to be a, a, a dog fight tomorrow. Rashard averaging a double double this year, ten points, ten rebounds, but also the, the likes of Jared Cunningham, their leading scorer, uh, with nineteen points a game, as well as Francis Seo with thirteen points a game. So, how important is it to not necessarily stop them completely, but contain them? to make sure that they don't go off for large numbers? Uh, it'll be vital. Um, just like you said, Cunningham is averaging about 19 a game. He's a very prolific scorer, even though he's a redshirt sophomore, he plays like a vet. Um, Seattle has been shooting the ball well. He didn't shoot it particularly well last year, but it seems like he's been working over the summer. And then they have a vet in uh, Frankie. Frankie Johnson's a, a, a really good guard who's gonna who's a really good leader, and um, we definitely got to uh, contain the ball. They're, they're, they're very good at scoring, and um, our defense hasn't been great lately, so we gotta step it up. Both teams like to score in the 80s. Is that a style you prefer, or how do you how do we want to dictate the game tomorrow? Um, we would prefer to keep them lower than 80 points. Um, a good half for us is having the team score in the mid 30s, low 30s. Um, so that would be about 60, 70 points. So if we can keep them in the mid 30s of each half and uh, guard how we're supposed to, uh, like our chances of the outcome. All right, and one more for you. The team has yet to have a home game this year, which is a little strange. The first home game being December 1st. Mm -hmm. So what can you learn about the team as it's had four or five road games, including two true road games, one at Winston-Salem State and one tomorrow? Um, that we have, uh, what I've learned is that we have a, a lot of heart. Um, a lot of the games we've been in double-digit deficits, and uh, the guys have never panicked or shown any concern. They just kept their heads down. They, they played defense when they needed to, and um, we just got to learn how to play a complete game defensively. Offensively, we, we've been putting the ball in the rim. Defensively, we haven't been able to keep the ball out of the rim, so I think that would be very important. Braves come in tomorrow at Wingate 4-1, and one, hoping to give Wingate its first loss of the year. For assistant head coach Tony Jones, I'm Dave Nguyen. Thank you.